Hello all, this is David from Sunward Hobbies and we're going to ride right into our next unboxing video as today I will be taking a look at a kit that I very highly recommend myself that being Edwards 148 scale P51D Mustang. So if you'll kindly follow me to the back I will take a close inspection at this fine thoroughbred. Good girl. Here we are in the stable and we're just about ready to take a look at this kit. This particular tooling came out in 2019 and like most Edward new tools it started off as a limited edition dual combo and then this particular version here was a rebox from 2020. So like most Edward kits, it's molded in their standard dark gray plastic. As part of their amazing quality control, the d surface detail is extraordinary. Very nicely recessed panel lines as well as rivets, which save you a lot of time. Uh, if there's one complaint I have about Edward, I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this, but I'll say it again. For some reason, their clear parts, especially when they come in this wheel-shaped sprue, there's always at least one piece that somehow broke off. But as long as it's still in there, which it is, everything's good. Nice clear parts, which also have rivet detail to them. That screw here. There's about four of them in there. And this one contains only five pieces, the two fuselage halves, which, which again looks extraordinary. as well as the rudder fin, which looks to be molded in one piece. Net sprue has got a whole bunch of detail parts in it mostly for the wheel well, the wheels themselves, the landing gear. Some parts for the air intake as well, and uh, exhaust. Yeah, the, the wheel well in particular on this kit is very nice. This one here, the 
they give you the option for two different propeller blades. They, they kind of look very similar, but this one has a slightly more flattened tip. Oh, oh I'm sorry, there's a third option. This is the one that looks more like the Mustang. Some cockpit parts. The like the, the radio, the side walls, the cockpit floor, the propeller cap. instrument panel, the headrest for the pilot seat, and um, because this kit has photo etch in it, they give you the option to have a flat instrument panel with nothing on it, or if you feel like you prefer doing decals, or, or just painting it yourself. They give you these nicely molded ones. And this last sprue here is, looks like it's just ordnance and fuel tanks. They give you 10 rockets, 10 traditional rockets. Uh, these two, or these six salvo rockets. Fuel tanks, bombs, and some racks to put them on. Instructions I will get to in a minute. There is your handy photo etch, which features a, a full instrument panel, the dials that go in there, and have fun handling that with tweezers, uh, seat belts. A gun sight and this I believe isn't actually a part that glues onto the model it's just like a, a frame that you can use for scribing a certain part of the fuselage it's a little odd but uh, it was nice of them to think of that Plus a canopy mask. Now since this is a bubble top canopy, you honestly don't really need this as those are very easy to mask yourself. But hey, these are always welcome. And your decal sheet. This particular kit gives you five different colorful options to choose from. And the best thing is that uh, aside from maybe one, all of them are the lesser known markings that you rarely see in other kit manufacturers who make Mustangs. for the instructions. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, that shouldn't have uh, an effect on the how the model goes together. Anyway, it starts off with the parts map and color callouts. Edward always calls out Mr. Color or Mission Models. And 
you start in the cockpit with the seat, the radio, the cockpit floor, the control stick. Then you move on to the fuselage, working on the side walls. And if you want to use the photo etch, you have to do some sanding on the plastic parts. So just to make sure that they'll fit on flush. Then you do the other side of the fuselage. And you bring it all together. Before that, you do the uh, wheel well for the tail wheel. And then the main wheel well. As I said, very nicely detailed. And there's that photo etch part I was referring to earlier. So it seems to me like in production they made a little mistake here and they included this to give you the correct placement of these panel lines. So then you fit on the six 50 caliber machine guns. you join the wing to the fuselage, then the tail control surfaces, the elevators, and the rudder. Then you actually assemble the instrument panel after the fuselage halves have been, been uh, put together, and it slides in uh, afterwards. Then, basically the last few steps, inserting the tail wheel, putting on finishing touches around the wing, uh, drilling holes for whether you're including rockets or bombs or fuel tanks, and then assembling the landing gear and lastly, the air brakes. And at the very... Oh. Okay, we're not done. So uh, this just shows you where all the canopy parts, the mast for the, them go. Okay, so we're still going. You attach the air brakes here and the landing gear, the gear wheels, I mean, the gear doors, excuse me, uh, the pitot tube, the exhaust, the four bladed propeller, and lastly attaching the canopy and the propeller. and the external ordin ordinance, whichever you choose, whether it's fuel tanks, bombs, or rockets. And that is it, I promise. Now they move on to the markings options. And you have five very nice, very colorful options to choose from. You've got red Mustangs, yellow Mustangs, blue ones. All of which will be in bare metal. If you're looking for an olive drab Mustang, uh, Edward also makes a, a different version which features olive drab marking options for you. Most of these markings cover uh, the European theater, but this last one is a Pacific Mustang. This is probably where you'd be attaching the fuel tanks. And this last page here, because bare metal is rarely ever the, the same color on every panel, they tell you 
what parts are a certain shine of metal. So like this white, light gray color here, as they say, would be a more natural metal finish. And the darker area is a flatter aluminum lacquer. And then lastly here, they just tell you some stenciling positions and on this page as well. Beautiful, I know. In conclusion, if you are looking for a 48 scale Mustang, this is the best bred one out there. It is very nicely detailed, has all the aftermarket parts that most modelers should ask for, and it is very well engineered, like just about any other Edward kit. So you can pick one up today for yourself at Sunward Hobbies, in store or online. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, adios.